Hello and welcome to Top Dog Travel. Today we're diving headfirst into the darkest corners of the world. We're talking about places where the veil between our world and the other side is thin. Join us as we explore five spooky destinations and share the true scary stories behind each one. We're going to uncover the history, the hauntings and the horrifying stories that make these places absolute nightmares. So grab your blankie, turn off the lights and maybe keep a nightlight on because things are about to get seriously creepy. You've been warned. First up, we're heading to the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, to the Stanley Hotel. Nestled amidst the breathtaking beauty of the Rockies, this hotel is not just a luxurious retreat, but also a place where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs. This grand old hotel built in 1909 inspired Stephen King's The Shining. Its majestic architecture and opulent interiors have been a silent witness to countless eerie occurrences over the decades. King stayed in room 217 and had unsettling experiences. He dreamt of his young son being chased down the hotel's long, empty corridors by a possessed fire hose, a vision that would later become a pivotal scene in his novel. Guests and staff report seeing ghosts of children, hearing phantom piano music and feeling icy hands. These spectral encounters are not just fleeting glimpses, but often intense experiences that leave a lasting impression. The ghost of F.O. Stanley, the original owner, is often seen in the lobby. Dressed in period attire, he is said to oversee the hotel's operations from beyond the grave, ensuring everything runs smoothly. The music room is particularly haunted with shadowy figures and disembodied voices. Visitors have reported feeling an inexplicable chill and hearing whispers that seem to come from nowhere. The piano plays the same song that F.O. Stanley's wife, Flora, used to play. The melody, often heard late at night, adds an eerie yet melancholic atmosphere to the room. Photos taken in the music room often capture strange orbs of light. These orbs, believed to be manifestations of spirits, are a common phenomenon in haunted locations. The former housekeeper, Elizabeth Wilson, supposedly haunts room 217, unpacking suitcases and tucking guests into bed. Her presence is said to be comforting, as if she is still taking care of the guests, even in the afterlife. The Stanley Hotel is a magnet for paranormal activity, with reports of full-bodied apparitions, disembodied voices and unexplained cold spots. These phenomena have been extensively documented by paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers alike. If you're looking for a vacation destination where you can rub shoulders with the supernatural, the Stanley Hotel is the place for you. Its rich history and numerous ghost sightings make it a must visit for anyone interested in the paranormal. Just don't say I didn't warn you. The Stanley Hotel is not for the faint of heart, but for those brave enough to stay, it promises an experience like no other. Next, we're heading to New Orleans to the infamous La Lorry Mansion on Royal Street. This place is not just haunted, it's like the walls themselves are screaming with the pain and suffering that went down within them. The very air seems thick with the echoes of past horrors. In the 1830s, this mansion was home to Dr. Louis LaLaurie and his wife Delphine. Delphine LaLaurie had a sick fascination with torture, and her victims were her own slaves. She was known for her cruelty, but no one knew the extent of her depravity until much later. She would chain them up in the attic, subjecting them to horrific experiments and unspeakable acts of violence. The attic became a chamber of nightmares, a place where screams were muffled by the thick walls. A fire broke out in the mansion and firefighters discovered Delphine's gruesome secret. They stumbled upon a hidden room in the attic, revealing the true extent of her monstrous acts. The attic was a scene straight out of hell with tortured souls begging for mercy. Delphine fled the city, but her evil lingered. The mansion was left with an indelible mark of her cruelty. People say that the spirits of the tortured slaves still haunt the LaLaurie mansion. Their restless souls are said to wander the halls, seeking justice and peace. Visitors and residents report seeing shadowy figures, feeling icy cold spots and hearing agonizing screams. The mansion has become a hotspot for paranormal activity. Some say that Delphine LaLaurie's ghost still roams the halls, her spirit unable to find rest due to the atrocities she committed. While others believe the spirits of her victims are trapped there, forever bound to the place of their suffering. The LaLaurie Mansion stands as a chilling reminder of the capacity for human cruelty. 
It is a place where history and horror intertwine, leaving an everlasting impression on all who dare to visit. Today, the mansion is a popular destination for ghost tours, drawing curious visitors from around the world. They come to catch a glimpse of the supernatural and to hear the chilling tales of the past. Historical documents and old newspaper clippings provide a glimpse into the dark history of the LaLaurie Mansion, painting a picture of a time when human life was treated with unimaginable cruelty. As the sun sets and darkness envelops the mansion, the atmosphere grows even more sinister. The whispers of the past seem to grow louder and the shadows deepen, making it clear why this place is considered one of the most haunted locations in America. The LaLaurie Mansion is not just a historical landmark, it is a testament to the horrors that humans are capable of inflicting on one another. It serves as a stark reminder that the past is never truly gone, and the echoes of history can still be heard if you listen closely enough. Borley Rectory, the most haunted house in England, let's hop across the pond to England, where the fog is thick, the tea is hot, and the ghosts are plentiful. England is a land steeped in history, and with that history comes a plethora of ghost stories and haunted locations. Among these, one stands out as particularly chilling. Borley Rectory. Borley Rectory has been called the most haunted house in England. This infamous building has captured the imaginations of ghost hunters and paranormal enthusiasts for decades. Its reputation for being a hotbed of supernatural activity is well documented. Built on the site of a 14th century monastery, the rectory was home to strange noises, unexplained movements and full-blown apparitions. The history of the site itself adds to the eerie atmosphere with tales of monks and nuns who met tragic ends. The Foisters moved in in 1928 and experienced objects moving on their own footsteps and disembodied voices. These occurrences were not just occasional. They were frequent and unsettling, making daily life in the rectory a constant battle with the unknown. They claimed to have seen the ghost of a nun bricked up alive within the walls centuries ago. This tragic figure is one of the most famous apparitions associated with Borley Rectory, often seen wandering the grounds in a state of eternal sorrow. There was also the ghost of a former resident, Henry Dawson Ellis Bull, who liked to ring the servant's bell at all hours. His presence was felt throughout the house, adding to the already thick atmosphere of dread and mystery. A phantom coach and horses, driven by a headless horseman, were also reported. This spectral sight was often seen galloping through the night, adding a dramatic and terrifying element to the haunting. Psychics, researchers, and even a team from the Daily Mirror newspaper investigated the house. Their findings only added to the legend, with many reporting strange occurrences and inexplicable phenomena. One psychic claimed to have contacted the spirit of a nun who was murdered by a monk. This revelation added a dark and sinister layer to the already chilling history of Borley Rectory. The rectory was destroyed by a fire in 1939, but ghost stories persist. The fire itself was mysterious, with many believing it was the result of supernatural forces at play. People still claim to see strange lights and hear eerie noises near the ruins. The legacy of Borley Rectory lives on with its ghostly inhabitants continuing to capture the imaginations of those who dare to explore its haunted past. The Bell Witch Cave Terror in Tennessee, we're heading to Adams, Tennessee, home to the infamous Bell Witch Cave. The legend dates back to the early 1800s when the Bell family experienced strange and terrifying events. It started with strange noises, knocking on the walls and disembodied whispers. The entity called Kate would pinch, slap and physically assault the family. John Bell was particularly targeted and his health deteriorated rapidly. Word spread and people flocked to the Bell farm, including future president Andrew Jackson. John Bell eventually died under mysterious circumstances, solidifying the Bell Witch's place in folklore. Today, the Bell Witch Cave is a popular destination for ghost hunters. Visitors report hearing disembodied voices, feeling cold spots, and being touched by unseen hands. Some claim to have captured photographic evidence of the Bell Witch. Akershus Fortress, where history haunts the halls. We're traveling to Norway to Akershus Fortress, a medieval behemoth with a dark past. Built in the late 1200s, Akershus Fortress has served as a royal residence, military stronghold, and prison. Torture and executions were commonplace within its walls. 
Visitors and staff report unexplained cold spots, disembodied voices and full-bodied apparitions. One of the most well-known ghosts is Malkanesi, a former prison guard known as the Evil One. Another restless spirit is a woman in a white dress, often seen wandering the halls. The most unsettling tale is that of the Demon Dog, a phantom black hound said to roam the ground. Legend has it that anyone who sees the Demon Dog will die within three days. Today, Akashu's Fortress is a popular tourist destination, but its dark past continues to cast a long shadow. Oh my god, you guys, I'm seriously creeped out right now. Just thinking about all those haunted places and the stories behind them is enough to give me nightmares for weeks. Thanks again for joining us here at Top Dog Traveller as we shared this journey into the heart of darkness. If you've got a spooky experience of your own, share it in the comments below. And whatever you do, if you ever find yourself at any of these spine-chilling destinations, be careful out there. You never know who or what might be lurking in the shadows of darkness.